guys. So today I'm going to be doing my birch box and glossy box video, but I'm going to do something a bit different today. Last time I opened the box for the first time in front of you and showed you what was inside, but today I have already opened them and I'll tell you why. I wanted to see what I had inside so I could test the products in front of the camera for you this time. Um, hence why I have very unfinished makeup, I have no eyebrows and contour or lips or anything. Just done my foundation and my eyeshadow. So, I'm going to get into... Let's do glossy box first because I did glossy box first the last month. Inside the box, you see I have opened it already. You get the card and the pretty pink wrapping. And then these are my products for this month. The first product that I saw was Cleansing Conditioner Co-Wash. This is a two-in-one shampoo and conditioner. I have coloured hair. As you can see, it's all new and different. <laughs> um, it's bleached from about here downwards. This was regrowth that I've had I've dyed over. Um, but this is all bleached, hence why it's a little bit lighter. So I haven't really got on with two in ones before because of the amount of conditioning I need on the ends of my hair. However, I'll give this a go because if it saves time in the morning, that will be brilliant. The second item is a little hand sanitizer. It is from Mercy Handy, it smells like lemon and it has little, I don't know if you can see in the camera, it has little blue beads in it, which is really cute. It smells smells like a lemon hand sanitizer. Then I have three makeup products. The first one is make made me laugh when I opened it because it is a brow pencil by Sport FX. So this claims to be waterproof and sweatproof. But I haven't updated my beauty profile on Glossy Box. The colour they sent me, you can see is blonde. Not a dark blonde, a really light ashy blonde. Ella. A really light ashy blonde that I didn't even use when I had blonde hair. I still feel with my brows in darker because my natural brows are darker. So I'm gonna give this a go. I don't know how well it's gonna go though because of the colour, but I'm gonna test the product um, to see how that applies. So We'll give, this, we'll give this a go. This could go very wrong and I may need to add something. Now you can see how naked my face looks. So it comes with a spoolie on one end and the brow pencil on the other end. Much like many brow pencils but it's a very interesting shape. Don't know if you can see if it ever wants to focus in life. But it is triangular. So you can really get the nice point, supposedly. So let's give this a go. Okay, so that is one eyebrow filled in. Quite badly, I think. Um, the product's nice. I'm not a pencil person, however, I did like this. It was really creamy and easy to apply. The colour is far too light and far too ashy for my current hair colour. But, I do like it. It's actually not as light as I thought it was going to be. So apart from the colour, I quite enjoy that product. It's going to go pretty film up. And I'll be right back. Where was this product in my life when I was really blonde? I like it. I really like this this pencil. I didn't think I was going to like it. I'm just annoyed it's blonde. The next product is a mascara. It is the Radical Glamour Lash XXL Mascara. This is in a sample size. Oh, and I forgot to mention the brow pencil is full size, obviously. Because how big would it be otherwise? So I'm not going to apply any 
eyelashes or eyeliner just to show you the full effect of the mascara and so I can see myself. But I am going to curl my lashes first because I've been doing this every time when I just wear mascara lately and I feel like it makes such a difference anyway. We are curled. So, oh! That is a big one. That is quite a big poofy one. Really? Why does this happen to me? So that is a mascara with one coat. Please ignore the splodge in the corner of my eye. Um, in all honesty, I'm not blown away by it. I'm currently using the bear with the Miss Hippie by L'Oreal Mega Volume Mascara and this is insane it's so so good literally I highly re recommend I can't speak today I highly recommend this mascara I think it's $7.99 and it is so so good it's literally one of the best mascaras I've ever bought and you don't get all the fallout and transfer underneath your eye which I have such an issue with so yeah recommend. I'm just going to go ahead and apply it to my top other lash tops and bottoms and I'm just, just oh. I've just decided I'm just not going to make sense in this video because apparently that's the way life's going at the minute. It's also really hard to work with such a tiny wand. I mean like brush size not that that thing is huge. The more I work with it, it just seems to be not doing much apart from making all my lashes stick together. That's the mascara on and honestly if I'm looking in the viewfinder I can't notice anything. I hate to say it but I'm not I'm not impressed by that. The final product in my Glossy Boss is this Model Co Contour Stick. <laughs> I saw that and I was like, don't tell me that's the shade. I thought it was like a blush or something. No, it is a contour shade. There. I did swatch this on the back of my hand and it felt nice and creamy and lovely. But we have to see what it looks like on my face. Now, I don't use cream contour, usually I use powder. So this could go horribly wrong, but we shall see. I'm just going to start with that. And I'm using a beauty blender because it was easiest to reach. <laughs> Very, very subtle. I'm gonna put some more and see if I can build it. I don't know if that's picking up on camera. It's very natural and subtle. Supple? Quick, quick. It's very natural and subtle, but it has created a bit of a glow. So, as a base for contouring before powder, this might work. I know it's a little difference actually between the cheekies. So my camera decided the memory card was full, so I just had to sort that out. Um, carrying on, yeah. I applied one coat to this side of my cheek of the contour stick, and I'm just gonna put a little bit more on. A little bit more this time. It takes a little while to blend out, but then I'm not that familiar with cream contour, so I don't know if this is normal or not. Um, oh, there we go. Now I've got a sort of glow. So, 
definitely very buildable. Not massively dramatic. Um, not massively pigmented either. I was a bit scared to go a bit too crazy and have nothing salvageable, but actually, it's not too bad to try a bit of forehead contouring. last time I did this much contouring. It's just so much effort in the morning. Nothing going on in my out. I can't be bothered anymore. Wow. It's really subtle but it works. Definitely great for pale skin. Do recommend but apparently it's 17 pounds worth it um if it's in your box yeah if you're paying 17 pounds for this no <laughs> um packaging's nothing fancy it's very looks cheap works nicely um but they're not absolutely amazing I'm not blown away by the results but I'm not not mad yeah it's great that concludes glossy box um, and then we've got a birch box now this month they partnered with Odin and they have a pretty box I received this one about a week ago I only got my glossy box today because of the post office sitch um, so I'll have actually used some of my things inside, that's why it's wet, Use some of the things inside my birch box. Um, I'll start with this one. This is the La Cita Keratin Conditioner. I used this last night um, for my shower, to wash my hair, and it was really nice. Um, my hair feels soft-ish, it's, it's very curly at the minute. Um, it feels good um yeah that's all i can say i've used it once it felt really nice and my hair was wet it was easy to brush through as well which is a massive thing for me because the amount of conditioners that claim to be really nourishing but i cannot for the life of me brush my hair when it's wet because it's so fine <laughs> but yeah i really like this second product i've tried is the polar pure ice facial cleanser this has teeny little balls of cleansingness inside, which, yeah, they work. I don't have words today. It smells really good though. Oh, and I forgot to mention this smells amazing. I need, I need to smell it. Oh, yeah, it smells so good. This smells nice. Nothing really strong though, and my face felt really nice and soft afterwards, which was wonderful I was very impressed with that this is a body lotion it says Moana on it creme Moana which reminds me of the film Moana and you can see that the packaging is very pretty but this smells absolutely incredible it's got um, she butter and some other lovely things beeswax and it's so nourishing, it doesn't leave your skin greasy and it smells so good I put this all over my body after my shower and I was just smelling myself I'm, I'm sorry, it was amazing, I love it what I find funny is in these beauty boxes it's the skincare and the moisturisers and hair care products I don't really get excited about until I try them and I realise how amazing they are the fourth product I received is a Model Co coal liner now this is a story I have to tell you back in school times I used to line my eyes really heavily with coal liner and I'd use a lighter or a match to warm it and melt it so it was really pigmented and I just have black smudges around my eyes like all the cool kids back in the day now I don't use this at all anymore so when I received it 
I was a bit like, what? What am I doing with that? Then I swatched it on my hand to see if it was any good. And it snapped. It's, I, I pulled up about that much, swatched it on my hand, and it just fully snapped. That's all that's left. But yeah, no, I'm not happy with that product. And they were also giving away this or a Nip and Fab color corrector. Now I really wanted to try um, that because I've never tried color correcting so I thought that would be great to give a go and see if it works for me. Now the final product is a bronzer and highlighter. Before I show you, I was um, given the choice to choose a HD pressed powder or a bronzer highlighter. I thought about it for a minute and then I was like, get the bronzer and highlighter because I love to try and use highlighters and bronzers to um, experiment and just see what works and what's great and I thought that would be a really good idea. Then I received it. This is apparently full size. This is full size. It's the size of an eyeshadow. It's apparently full size. I can't even open it now. This apparently retails for £17. It looks like an eyeshadow you get from the pound shop. That aside, I did give it a swatch. So that's a swatch of the highlighter and the bronzer. They're very pigmented, if not very chalky looking, and this is what they look like on the back of my hand. Bronzer's very shimmery, and the highlighter is too. So, when I swatched it initially, I thought, there's hope, there is hope. I'm just gonna take a very small MAC blush duo brush thing, because it's the only brush that really fits in this pan, and I'm just gonna take a bit of the bronzer and just put it over where I've contoured. Um, sort of it is very pigmented but there is so much fallout with it but the product itself isn't bad if the size was bigger and the packaging was a bit nicer I'd totally pay £17 for it like in all honesty But it's just the fact that it's completely disappointing. You do have to blend it a lot as well to be able to get a nice even line. I'm not sure if that's the brush I'm using or what, but a little bit more, just a little bit more on this side. So yeah, not the best bronzer I've used, but it does have a very gentle sheen, perfect for summer. The highlighter, however, is beautiful. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous peachy shade, which is perfect for my skin tone. And darker, lighter, whatever. You don't get much lighter than me. But some highlighters look very dirty on me and if I turn my head to the front you can just see a line of whatever colour the highlighter is but this is gorgeous it looks invisible when there's no light hitting it then when the light hits it you get a gorgeous shine which is just what I love in a highlighter just gonna put little bit on my nose and a little on my cubic bow why am I talking like this? no one knows I have to go inside of it but yeah you can see the glow it gives it's quite pretty I've also got a very sheer foundation on today it is the NARS all day luminous 
it called? All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. I love it, it doesn't have massive staying power, but it looks so pretty on the skin. So yeah, that's everything I got in my beauty boxes this month. Um, I'm not blown away. Glossy Box wins, that is for sure. Because when I received my Birch Box, the first thing was like, that's it, I'm cancelling my subscription. It's been a while since they've really blown me out of the water with what they've brought in their box. I think last month was actually pretty decent, I did enjoy it. This month, what I think annoyed me was the fact that I got the Coral Eyeliner, which was broken when I swatched it and I won't, won't use it, that will be going in the bin. Highlighter bronzer was just really small. Um, it does claim on there to be full size. Now I'm gonna actually do some research and find out if that is genuinely full size or not. Because it wasn't, it wasn't terrible. It just is not gonna last that <laughs> long at all. And I have so many other highlighters and bronzers, so. It's fine, it's fine. I'm all over the place today, I do apologise for that. So that is everything for today's video, um, I hope you enjoyed my crazy scatty review of the Birch Box and Glossy Box. Um, please leave a comment down below, subscribe, fab, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!